What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including who really is the fifth woman at Survivor Series War Games match, a shocking AJ Styles statistic, a former WWE champ returns for one last match, wrestlers mourn the passing of Jason David Frank, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and our non-wrestling channel, Incredible. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at more fifth woman rumors. Now who is the fifth woman in the women's war games match at Survivor Series? Not since WCW fans asked who the third man was for the Outsiders match at the 1996 Bash at the Beach has wrestling been full of rumors and speculation about a potential tag partner. By now you've heard that Candice LeRae or Beth Phoenix could join Bianca Belair's team against Damage Control, but there's another name being discussed and none other than the Queen Charlotte Flair. Flair, who hasn't wrestled since last spring's WrestleMania Backlash, is reportedly ready to wrestle and fans have seen several hype videos for her return. Now there's talk Flair will side with Bianca and friends, and if this happens, how long can Flair coexist with Bianca, especially since Flair loves to have the championship gold around her waist? Who do you think will be the fifth woman though? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE breaks box office record. The time for the WWE to build a bigger bank vault as the company issued a statement to PW Insider that its box office sales for the 2023 Royal Rumble have passed the $5 million mark, a new record for ticket sales. Wrestling News' Andrew Ravens noted that the current record is more than the previous record from 2017. That was the last time the WWE held the Royal Rumble at the venue. The WWE continues to bring in big time bank as its product seems more popular than ever, especially at the box office. It'll be interesting to see whether the WWE rolls out more stadium shows in 2023 based on the promotion's momentum following Triple H's assumption of creative control. Next up, WWE Main Eventer talks imminent retirement. Retirement can be a sore subject for some wrestlers, but not for the WWE Hall of Famer Edge who recently discussed hanging up his boots for good. The Rated R Superstar's career seemingly ended in 2011 after he was diagnosed with spinal stenosis. Edge's time off and incredible training effort led to him being cleared, resulting in his return at the 2020 Rumble. Edge recently spoke on the YouTube channel The Nation Network, revealing that he has a definite endgame in mind for his career. Well, that, that's, that's the key. You know, I, the first time I was told you gotta you gotta hang it up that's it you're done it was wrestlemania and i retired as world champ and that sounds cinderella but i just didn't know and and that made it hard to chew on all those years you know and when i had the chance to get this back uh the first thing i thought is i want to retire in toronto you know because again i know the window's not open for long but if i can do it there then i'll be able to go right I'm good. Then I didn't come back to like win four more championships or anything like that. I really just came back to have fun, try and help teach a new generation of, of talent that I never got my hands on before and come back and tell a hell of a story for three or four years and then right off into the sunset. Although Edge's return run hasn't been smooth sailing, he suffered a triceps injury in 2020 that shouldered him for the rest of the year, he's had some memorable programs including his feuds with Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles and The Judgment Day, a faction that ironically he created and watched kick him out in violent fashion. Next up, a shocking AJ Styles statistic. Now, Styles may be known as a phenomenal one, but the two-time WWE Champion's premium live event record isn't so phenomenal. According to the wrestling statistics site, the Internet Wrestling Database, Styles hasn't scored a win at a PLE since 2019's Crown Jewel when he defeated Umberto Carrillo. Hopefully, Styles will snap his winless streak this Saturday when he squares off against the Judgment Day's Finn Balor. To be honest, it doesn't look hopeful. Next up, Triple H wanted War Games in 2019. The WWE's decision to bring the War Games match back to the main roster at Survivor Series seems to be well received, but did you know that Triple H tried to bring it into the main roster in 2019? The Road Dog recently revealed on his Oh You Didn't Know podcast. Yes, he, and look, he's always wanted to do that. He's had that in mind, and that's why we started doing it down there. But yeah, he wanted to do it there. It just wasn't time yet. And so... Uh, I don't, I don't disagree with that. We hadn't had one yet. It was, uh, or I don't think we had had one yet. Maybe we had at the, that point. But yeah, Hunter always thought the war games was a great 
uh, you know, one of Dusty's creations that was awesome and he wanted it to carry it forward. So yeah, he always had that idea. The Cerebral Assassin wanted to use war games during the 2019 NXT Invasion angle that saw the stars of NXT, Raw and SmackDown wage interbrand rivalry at Survivor Series. Brian James to explain the reason Vince didn't want to go with a double cage match made famous in Jim Crocker Promotions and WCW. But, but I, I feel like Hunter liked that match a lot more than Vince did. And I think Vince thinks it, uh, and rightfully so, by the way, I don't, this, is, this cannot be argued with, it does step on Hell in the Cell a little bit. Like you can't have those two close together because it's a huge cage match and a huge cage match and, and how do you promote and keep special one or the other. So so it is a it is a debate to be had. Now for what it's worth, we disagree about War Games stepping on Hell in a Cell as the Elimination Chamber is another variant on the cage match that's never affected Hell in a Cell. Next up, a former WWE Champion returns for one last match. A former Ring of Honor World Champion and WWE Cruiserweight Champion Jamie Noble is stepping into the ring for one final match. Noble, who informed fans via Instagram on December 11th at Charleston Civic Center, Charleston, West Virginia, I will compete for possibly my last time in wrestling under the greatest company of all time, WWE. It's been roughly 11 years since I was forced out of the ring. Now I'm going to have one more opportunity in front of my people, my state, my family. I promise you I will walk out a winner or I'll go down my shield giving the best performance I can give. All the support I can get will be so greatly appreciated to show where I can still go. Thank you all, God bless you and God bless West Virginia. Now rumor has it that Noble will battle Seth Rollins at the event but Jamie's opponent remains unconfirmed. Next up has broken Matt Hardy awoken. Or could the AEW Galaxy be on the cusp of a return by Matt Hardy's popular broken Matt Hardy character? While Hardy tweeted a vintage clip of him in character following AEW's Full Gear pay-per-view, a move that has fans talking about the broken character getting a second chance in AEW. While Hardy brought his broken character back when he entered AEW in 2020, the pandemic led to him ditching it perhaps because he could not engage with the fans like he did during the gimmick's initial run in Impact Wrestling. Hardy has had several personas in AEW, none of which have been duds, but neither have been smash successes. Could this be AEW's chance to finally capitalize on Hardy's creative genius? Next up, Jade Cargill and Baddies throwing out a Bow Wow meet and greet. Are AEW fans about to see a match between TBS champion Jade Cargill and rapper Bow Wow? Well, both parties have been teasing a looming clash and a recent meet and greet by Bow Wow may have lit the fuse for a match. Bow Wow began a brouhaha with some social media shots at Cargill, including the following tweet. Yo, Jade Cargill, so you was at the same arena yesterday that I'm playing tonight and skipped out of town so fast. I wanted to see that slow ass kick in person. Oh, I'm so sorry. Good morning. Jade responded to the rapper's remarks, telling Steve Fall on his 10 count YouTube show that I promise you he would never step to me and say any of the words, half of the words that he said. As far as Bow Wow in the ring, I mean, if Tony would let me take him, I would, but I think it would be another five minute match, and I think you are tired of those. Am I right? A fan video was recently uploaded of Cargill and her baddies confronting the 35-year-old rapper. The trio were quickly ejected by security as, at the risk of sounding cynical, we're amazed at the number of fan videos that end up being incorporated into wrestling angles. Is AEW building up an intergender match between Cargill and Bow Wow? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, McIntyre mistake caught on live television. Adds blooper time as fans got to see another example of the wonders of live TV on the 18th November Smackdown during the wild brawl between the Brawling Brutes and the Bloodline. The Donnybrook saw Roman Reigns' music hit as he strode out to the ring to give his cousins the honorary Ooze Sami Zayn a man advantage. Like most entrances, Roman didn't break any land speed records which led to Drew McIntyre who was busy dropping the dogs on Solo Sokoa loudly asking, is he out yet? And finally, wrestlers mourn the passing of Jason David Frank. Last but not least, the wrestling world is joining millions of fans in mourning the death of actor and martial artist Jason David Frank, who became a cultural icon for his portrayal of the Green Ranger in the Power Rangers series, not to mention the White Ranger. Here are just some of the tributes from the wrestling community such as Johnny Gargano who we fondly remembered. The news about Jason David Frank is absolutely heartbreaking man. Before pro wrestling, Power Rangers was my everything when I was little and Tommy Oliver was my hero. The New Day's Xavier Woods tweeted a video of an interview with Frank commenting, woke up to the news that Jason David Frank has passed away. As the Green White Ranger, he had a huge impact on my childhood. When I finally got the chance to meet him, he was always kind to me. Really gonna miss him. Other members of the wrestling community tweeted their thoughts including Melina and Kayla Sparks. Shane Hurricane Helms tweeted a photo of himself in his hurricane outfit standing side by side with Frank. Rest in power buddy, you'll be missed. Thanks for all the joy you brought to so many. 
But these tweets reflect the sentiment of many Jason David Frank fans and we join them in sending their thoughts and prayers to Mr. Frank's friends and family. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.